Hi guys, so I'm beginning to believe the Brexiteers aren't just content in their ignorance, they're actually proud of that ignorance. So there's been a bit of a back and forth about the so-called EU-UK divorce bill. Unfortunately, Brexiteers don't bother to read, I was going to say read into things, but they just stop there. Um, they don't bother to read full stop. But if they did, they begin to understand why the UK is continuing to pay money to the European Union. Now, here is Talk Radio interviewing EU expert Darren Grimes, who has as much knowledge about why the UK is paying money, paying money to the European Union as Talk Radio does. Anyway, let's hear what they had to say. I want to talk about this extraordinary story uh, that our uh, divorce bill from the EU has been delivered and we've got to pay them 48 uh, sorry, forty point eight billion pounds, two billion pounds more than expected, uh, with a huge chunk of it due within six months. Forty point eight billion pounds. That's to leave the EU. No, it's not to leave the EU. I'll get to why the UK is paying this money in a moment, but we're right off the bat. He's engaging in straw men. He's engaging in fallacies. He doesn't understand what he's talking about. It's not to leave the European Union. I don't really get it. I mean, you, you, you pay to join a club, not to leave one. Uh, let's talk to uh, the host of Reasoned UK and all round straight talking guy, Darren Grimes. Good evening, Darren. Evening, Kev. Can you explain uh, what this £40.8 billion is actually for? As I just. No, he can't. Said, I thought you paid to join a club, not to leave one. I mean, the idea that we're handing over 40 billion quid to them is just extraordinary, isn't it? If you think half of that, Kev, must be Jean-Claude Juncker's wine bill alone. <laughs> I, that's what I, that's what my sort of suspe suspicion is there. I think Boris Johnson had it right when he was foreign secretary, Kev. I, do, I don't know if you remember, but he said that the EU could go whistle when these sort of sums were being bandied about. Why did he say that? Is it because he didn't understand or he knew it would be red meat to people like yourself who don't understand reality don't understand why the uk is paying money to the european union and i would actually put it in stronger terms than that i mean i know it's post watershed but i'll try and hold me tongue yeah, please i do. mean <laughs> the idea that we should hand over to the eu for 2020 alone 5.8 billion quid in in a year in which we've been out for almost that full year the damn thing imagine what the bill would have been were we still in it it's just extraordinary sums of money okay so a legitimate question is why is the uk paying money to the european union the reason the uk is continuing to pay money even though it's no longer a member is because it wants to participate in certain projects now there are large projects there are small projects the UK has decided we want to still participate. The EU have said, OK, if you do, if you want to participate, you need to pay. So I'm, I'm going to give you a few examples of some of the projects that the UK is paying into. The first one is the Copernicus program. So Copernicus is a European Union Earth observation program coordinated and managed by the European Commission in partnership with the European Space Agency, the, um, the EU member states and EU agencies. Its aim is to provide continuous, autonomous, high quality, wide range earth observation capacity, providing accurate, timely and easily accessible information to, um, and among other things, improve the quality, sorry, improve the management of, in, of the environment, understand and mitigate the effects of climate change and ensure civil security. So this is a good project to be part of. The UK decided before uh, writing or before signing the withdrawal agreement said we want to be part of this project the European Union said sure but you have to pay and the UK government said okay uh, another is the European Atomic Energy Community it's called Euratom uh, the UK wanted to be part of this I don't know if you can see the map here but you can see both Switzerland and the UK are participating in this project to participate, you need to pay. That's why the UK is paying part of this money. And finally, there's the Horizon Europe project, which is uh, to develop a research around Europe and to provide money to universities. And this has to be paid for. It's quite expensive, 
but the UK has decided we want to be part of it as well. So that's why the UK is part paying this so-called divorce bill. It's continuing to be part of this Horizon Europe project. And of course you have to pay to be a member. So these people who, look, I found this information in about five minutes. It doesn't take a long time to do the, the research. Why does Darren or this other guy not understand it? It's very simple. When, uh, I forget what this guy's name is, um, the, the commentator, the main guy, uh, when he said, look, when you leave the club, yes, but the UK left the club, but it wanted to, be st it wanted to still participate in some activities the club was engaging in. In order to do so, then you have to pay. I think it's quite simple. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?